Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I have another meal prep video for you. Um, this week I am gearing up for a week of plant-based eating that I am doing with M over at M Wilson Fit Fam. So be sure to check out her channel. So I wanted to make sure I was nice and prepped up for a week of a plant-based eating. So first off, I start off with my usual basic prep. I prepped up some cucumbers for snacking, some green onions for salads and just for dinners throughout the week, some lemons for my lemon water. So I also shorted up some red cabbage I'll be using for a couple different recipes and for salads throughout the week. I chopped up some red onions that I use for salads and various recipes. Then I cleaned and destemmed some grapes, which is my most hated task of meal prep. Then I bagged up some carrots. I had some carrot chips and some little baby cut carrots and I'm gonna put those in some bags and then I will add the cucumbers to them the day that I take them to work. So I'll have these with hummus. So there is my basic prep. I try to do this type of prep every week. If I do anything, if I don't do anything else, this is definitely one thing that I always do. Next up, I'm going to do some lunch and dinner prep. So I'm starting off with spaghetti squash. I'm having this for dinner one day this week. So spaghetti squash is super easy to make. The hardest part of it is cutting it in half. So just be very careful when you do that. Slice it in half and then just remove the stuff on the inside. It's kind of like a pumpkin. You just scrape it out. It just has some seeds and um, some little fibers and hairs. And then you want to brush that with, I always use about a half of a tablespoon of olive oil. Usually I don't use it all, which in this case was a kind of a smaller spaghetti squash, so I didn't use it all. And then I sprinkle it with garlic powder and onion powder, and then I just put them flush side down, and I bake them at 425 for about 45 minutes, depending on the size of your squash. This one took about 40, 45 minutes. Then you remove it from the oven, let it cool really good, and then shred it up with a fork. And there you go. That's how you make spaghetti squash. Going to make some brown rice. So I'm going to be using brown rice for a, quite a few meals throughout the week for some lunch bowls and some dinner recipes. So I'm going to make sure I had it all ready to go because brown rice typically takes a little bit longer to make. And you guys know I only have just a short time after I get home from work to get dinner ready and on the table. So I just I'm using my pressure cooker, so it's really super quick with your pressure cooker. It takes about 15 minutes. Um, that does not include the time it takes to pressure up and the time for, for the natural release. So I put two cups of brown rice into the pressure cooker and added three and a half cups of liquid. I used two cups of vegetable broth and one and a half cups of water, so that vegetable broth adds so much flavor to your rice. And I also added just a little bit of a 21 Seasoning Salute from Trader Joe's. So I just put that in my pressure cooker, hit the brown rice button, and bam, 15 minutes later, we have yummy golden rice. Just going to put that into a container, and it'll be in my refrigerator and ready to go. Next up, I'm going to steam up some veggies. These will be used for lunches. Um, whenever I have steamed veggies for dinner, I just do them the night that I'm making dinner. But since I do take my lunch to work, I like to have some just ready in the refrigerator and ready to go. So I'm just using my steamer basket here and steaming up some frozen vegetables. Next up, I'm going to make a mason jar salad. This is a crunchy Asian salad. So I thought I was recording to show you the dressing, but I was not. But here is everything that goes into the dressing. So I have um, one tablespoon of PB2. I do one tablespoon of coconut aminos, then a half of a teaspoon of sriracha, one teaspoon of 
crushed ginger, and then an eighth of a teaspoon of sesame oil, and then I just add water to that until it gets to consistency that I like it. Okay, so now I'm going to assemble the salad. So first you wanna put your dressing in the bottom of the salad, then add in your shredded red cabbage, some diced red bell pepper, some chopped broccoli, some shredded carrots, some cooked shelled edamame, some sliced green onions, and then just top it off with some romaine lettuce. And then when I'm ready to eat this, I will just shake it up really well and then just tip it upside down onto a plate and just have this for a great lunch. So if you guys wanna see more mason jar salads, give me a thumbs up and leave a comment down below and I can come up with some more recipes for you. Another thing I like to have in my refrigerator is some black beans. So I like, I'm like i gonna be using these for some lunch bowls and some dinner recipes through the week. So I just wanted to drain and rinse these so they are ready to go. And lastly, I had to cook up some lentils. I'm gonna be using this for a lentil falafel for dinner this week. I will be showing you in my dinner video how I make this. And then also some cauliflower Alfredo sauce. So you will be seeing these in my dinners this week video. And there you go, there is everything that I prepped this week to get myself ready for a week of plant-based eating. Wish me luck, you guys. If you have not subscribed, please do so and hit the notification bell so you know when I upload videos. I do meal prep videos every week and I hope you guys will join me for another one. So I will talk to you guys all in the next video. Bye guys.